What's up everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel. I wanted to take you through what I see are the advantages of paying that little bit extra for the E-Cells Kingstar. And the majority of that sits right here inside the controller compartment. In this video, I'm gonna take you into the controller compartment, show you some of the wiring, how that thing is hooked up, and explain to you what that little extra price is for when you choose the E-Cells Kingstar over the E-Cells 5-Star, its worthy competitor from the same brand, E-Cells. We really like the Kingstar. It is a faster bike. This is saying 41, there's 39, 40. 40. We have tested that, uh, can get up to 40 on its own. Dual suspension, 60 volt, 20 amp hour, 1500 watt rear hub. It is a worthy bike by all means, but I wanted to take you inside and show you just exactly what you're paying for when you do that. We all know that the display is different, but I wanna show you these internal differences so you can make the better choice for yourself when you're choosing your e-cells. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary, and if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your friends. Let's get to it. I'm gonna do the outside. These four on the inner plate are not to be removed. So that's what we're looking for. Controller, spacer, and then your heat sinks. So this should just slide on out. Just like so. It can get a bit messy, so just beware. Then on this side, here is what I was anticipating. This is a DVC 7205, max 72 volt, five amp by two, and it is a charge balancer. So it looks like it's going all the way back in here 
with XT30s as your connector types. Pull this out a little bit. So this line is your pass sensor internal, that's nice. And then here is your display connection. So I wanna rub off my, my damn sticker, what it looks like it is. So 60 volt rated, max current 40, rated current 20 amp continuous, low voltage protection is 50, throttle adjustment uh, looks like 1.2 to 4.4, LSW2043-53, it's the product number manufactured in October of 2024. So I'll go ahead and get this back on. See if the spacing here is good enough. I'll just slip it back in. I'm hoping or I really want to see is that it's just a two pin connection positive negative and the others are just dummy pins uh, all right so they are actually charging pins for the battery it looks like so in order for the reverse charging to work, you would have to have the connector for this uh, looped into, so let's see. And the charging ports are up top, so outer port and the far right of the four up top. The two in the middle at the top are not used. This is your negative charge terminal, positive charge terminal. This is your negative power. This is positive. So you could make a connection here, but you are not going to be able to charge your second battery um, unless you have this connection. So the factory connection. So we can get this slipped back on here without an issue. That works. Very nice. I'm going to use my uh, thread sealant, semi permanent. I don't want to lock them in there forever.
Oh, this is the other side. So here is your four pin uh, JST connector and then you have your balancer, the XF cycle, max 72, 60 amp times two. So it is above the max current limit of 40 amp for the controller that we saw on the other side. This is the BB72120 underscore C dual battery balancer. So what you're seeing is this is your A connection XT60 that's your primary battery. This is your B connection which is actually running up to the seat post connection for the battery and then your output to the controller is actually XT90. like that'll be a good sit. And then this plate actually sits quite nice. You'll notice we didn't have to take this off, but I wanted to take it off and show you guys so you could see what was going on there. The charge port is actually right down in here and you can feel it if you stick your finger down in there. This port right here is actually a port to charge straight to the battery. So it allow you to get access to the battery itself if you need to. So 60 volt, 20 amp hours, 67.2 max charge, and Hui Chao Li Electronic Technology Company Limited. Well, there you have it. We have taken you inside the belly of the beast. Uh, it explains why there's just a little bit extra cost, aside from the way the frame lays out for the E-Cells Kingstar. You know you have a different display. We know it's a little bit faster but it's that charging port and the internal components that allow the readout and the monitoring for the battery charging as well as the dual battery the dual battery monitoring on the display for the eCells Kingstar that sets it apart and we really really like that we noticed that it was XT90 on the output of the balancer and XT60s for the input there is a second battery port on the seat tube and the two main terminals are your positive and negative, and the upper left is your negative charge, and the upper right is your positive charge, and the two small terminals in between on the upper portion are not utilized. So that's what that port is for. So you're gonna need a factory hookup if you're going to utilize the single port charge port for the Kingstar. That means you can just use one charger, which is awesome. It will take a little bit longer to do, and then that balancer has a five amp max for the charge balancer running to there. So there is going to be a calculation for how you can get that done. Maybe we can do that now. Let me see, calculator. So let's say you had a 15 amp hour battery on the back and a 20, so you have a 35 amp, 35 amp hour setup, and we're going to divide that. Let's say we had maximum discharge of your charger at five amps. It's gonna take you seven hours to charge up both. Let's imagine that it's just a two amp charger. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's gonna take you 17 and a half hours, so better part of a day to get that done. So the five amp charger is where you wanna be. 
So the chargers I have for the Kingstar and the Five Star are both three amp. They are the MGT 6003A, so that's your three amp, so that's your 60 volt three amp charger. Output max is 67.2 volts and max output current is approximately three amps. Uh, this is made by Megatech, Megatech. This is a three amp charger. So let's do some math on that real quick. So let's imagine 35 amp hours on the Kingstar divided by three, 11 hours. So an overnight and then some, so eight hours of sleep. So weekend charge, right? Uh, or put it in early before you go to bed. And by the time you get back to it the next day, it's going to be charged up. If you only have one charger, I haven't picked up the second battery. I'm sure it has a charge port for it. Um, and you know what we do here at electric all wheels. So definitely wanted to get an idea of what's going on inside. Very happy to have seen that. And now to understand the second battery plug-in and the internal workings. And I think it's quite impressive, especially for the price difference, which isn't very much. Uh, we are in tariff time right now. So, uh, the pricing's just going to go off. It's going to go haywire. So I'm not really going to declare that. Just know that that is the difference between the king star and the five star aside from performance it is the ability to charge both the batteries the monitoring of those batteries at the display and then the ability to hook up the second quite easily in that um, seat tube charge port or a seat tube connection for your second battery which is also the second battery charge port I do find those things intriguing. This is why I continually gravitate towards e-cells. It is the quality, it is the little things. It is the little things that matter that uh, monitoring wiring on the balancer itself, I'm, you know, that's the kind of stuff that matters to me, especially when I'm on a quality bike at a price point like these. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary, and if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your friends. Check out the links for the eCells King Star and Five Star in the description below. And we also have a discount code uh, EAW100 that you can use to get $100 off your eCells purchase. We'll talk to you next time.